Hey, Val here. Welcome to this episode of Reading Schematics, where I walk through minor tree schematics to help you better understand and more easily see a more technical side of minor tree. Before we get into it, thanks for 150 subs. I really appreciate all the support you guys have shown. Thanks. All right, let's get into the video. Today we're gonna to be looking at a logic schematic, specifically this one, the display corruptor, or anti. Yeah. This floods any selected display with an entourage of draw flushes to this lovely drawing, which makes most displays just say what ought to be said to those horny bottom feeders that put that kind of shit on the server. Now, you may ask yourself, what's stopping the perp from just deleting the schematic? And the correct response to that is mediocrity. Of course, the liquid source here is not something most people can place in a server, so I'm sure the point is to bring in an array of cryofluid mixers to get the processor working. Doing the math, it'll take... Well, less than one cryofluid mixer to fill up the hyperprocessor. That sounds like a line in some cheesy sci-fi show. Anyways, let's look at the code. For the little one, it's pretty straightforward. It's just constantly flushing the function of the device to, to this message building here, so that you can't edit it without touching this processor. For the big one, it needs some explanation. There's no way I'll be able to explain it with the notes this massive, so I'm going to walk you through it line by line in a text editor. One thing to remember, minus 3 starts count at 0, while most editors start at 1. Yeah, that's better. Alright, this line here makes it to where the script will start at line 3, which is this get link function. This goes through all links that this big boy has, like an array in any other language, using an iterator, L. L here is set to zero if it ever gets above the number of total links in the processor. This draw flushes first, then has the draw command second, which would be a problem for an animation, but seems to work fine here. Also, I really couldn't tell you why there's an end command after every jump if always. Maybe debugging? I'm not sure. This bit here draws this beautiful portrait, and this just continues it. And it censors rather quickly. It only lets one frame through very briefly, after like a second. I'm not sure on the exact numbers, but it definitely keeps images from being seen unless you're really focusing on it. That way little Timmy will only get traumatized if he's curious. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Hope you learned something new, and I hope you enjoyed. See ya!